guys, Scott Oak here, and welcome back to another adventure. Today, guys, we're here at Hill Air Force Base in Utah, and we're just gonna go check out a lot of cool planes. And so right outside, they have a ton of planes just laying here, and many of them probably look like fighters and bombers. So let's go look around. There's a ton of really cool planes. We have some really old bombers, and we have some new bombers. So guys, that really ginormous plane right behind me, that is the best airplane of all. It's a four engine one, so it has two on each side. And it was actually used to carry 200 troops. And as you can see, something would unfold at the behind under the nose and maybe like tanks and cargo would come out. And the best thing of all is that my grandfather actually flew this plane in Vietnam. Well, I've never touched a propeller before. These things are massive. Let's go see how big these tires are. They're even taller than I am. Let's go check out the museum. Guys, they have a gift shop and it also looks like they have a theater. So guys, this is the first room of the museum. Here's some of the Wright Brothers planes. Just by looking at some of the planes, they just like look like they're just from World War II. So guys, many planes during World War II they had like symbols of like little pictures like of their design and you can see there's um bombs on the side i'm guessing those are like like when how many times they like bomb somewhere and they made it or they hit down a enemy fighter plane so let's go check out the world war ii bombers This is, a, this is one of the planes that bombed Japan and Hiroshima and Nagasaki. When, so after Jap Japan bombed uh, Pearl Harbor, they, Frank, the President Franklin Roosevelt, he wanted to strike the Japanese back immediately. So none of their planes could reach Japan. So they sent out an aircraft carrier with planes on it. So they, all of them took off to try and bomb Japan but some of them crashed into the ocean, some of them, and the rest of them landed in China, so, and they also did su succeed on bombing Japan. Go on to the fighter jet gallery, let's go. was manufactured by Lockheed Martin and this served with for Lennon B. Johnson and whenever he was on board this was called the Air Force One. Here's one of the fighter jets. This was a Delta Dagger and I thought four leaf clovers were lucky but it, as you can see on the side it's a three leaf clover so that three leaf clover may have kept his plane still today. So guys, these are where all the fighter jets throughout the years are, so let's go check them out. This one has a weird nose. So guys, this plane has a funny nose. I wonder if the propeller got taken out. I'm just kidding, guys. This is a jet. This was like the beginning of when they started to make jets, so. Here's all the helicopters over there. What do you think? 
guys think this is, comment down below and tell me what do you think it is. Now this is a really cool helicopter. Look at the inside of this helicopter. This looks like Vietnam fighters, let's go check them out. So guys, this plane has flags, probably where this plane has been. So they have like flags on the side of the plane. It's pretty cool. So guys, this plane has to be my favorite one. So guys, this is really cool. I found an ejection seat. I bet if you pull this lever, your seat would come flying out and the parachute would open and you would just drift there just in case like you were being shot down by an a enemy fighter plane and your plane was on fire and you need to make a good escape, you just press this down. During Vietnam, if your plane got shot down and you had to use the, uh, the ejection seat to fly out and you landed on the ground safely, you might have been captured by the enemy and you could have brought been brought into like prisoners of war camps and all that. And I guess these are what the punishments it would do to you. I would have not wanted to have been shot down. I just wonder why the planes had camouflage. So when they were on the ground, it camouflage from the enemy. So guys, this plane has a, de a design that says the Chief. I wonder if a really high rank went for this plane. So guys, this plane has two jet engines. This must have been pretty fast. Check these missiles out. Missiles here were launched from planes to knock down other enemy fighters, and these ones right here, these kind of bigger ones, were launched to blow up like tanks and bigger vehicles. So guys, these are bombs. They're deployed from a plane to hit somewhere on the ground. I wouldn't want this to hit my house. It would be a big disaster. I wouldn't want to be in front of this plane with those three machine guns firing at me. So guys, basically in this room, this is basically like the modern fighter jets that they would use kind of today, but right now they're being stored so people could look at them. These are Vietnam and post-World War II planes on display. That plane's humongous. Does anyone know what this plane is? This is a cool one. This was an amazing experience. If you're ever in Utah or close to wherever the Hill Air Force Base is, you guys gotta go check this place out. It has many planes and it's actually really cool to go see them. And so I just wanna say thank you. I just wanna say thank you to everyone that has fought in every war that even has died that for my safety and for freedom and so yeah this is about the end of, of this video hopefully you guys did enjoy please like please subscribe and also please comment and guys i will see you all in the next video bye
Thank you.